All right, totally dark in the room. Opening the door. Bam. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got something a little bit different. We are doing an install, but it's not a car, it's not a truck, a trailer, a UTV, or anything like that. Uh, this is some, some products I found on the internet. Uh, an idea a concept that I came up with that I wanted to do for this build that I'm doing um, and I am going to open uh, uh, the products show you everything that I've got going on uh, what I'm doing as far as the install and uh, basically a product review hopefully this pans out I feel like you know I've pulled the concept the idea uh, if there's anything that's going to be changes uh, changed then uh, if you guys really like this video and stuff like this, then I will document the changes as we go forth. So today's video is going to be about this safe. So I guess Tractor Supply has been running sales on these safes. It's not like the best in the world. I know there's going to be people that's going to be like, oh, you know, this safe's better than that safe or whatever. This is a bargain deal. Um, for a small project to what I plan on keeping in this safe and what I plan on doing for it. Uh, right now, reasonably, I couldn't see spending um, thousands of dollars for a similar size safe. Now, for this one, uh, the area, location, you know, where it's going to be, uh, this one's perfect. It's pretty cheap. This one is a 27, I believe. Uh, no, 26 here. Here's the product details. The Winchester 26 gun capacity. Um, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redesign the inside of it. So right now on the inside of these, as you see, there's no lights. The shelving, now it does come with shelving uh, pieces that you can customize. You can move this stuff around. You know, organize your rifles and stuff like that. Um, but, I'll show you the door. So today, as far as the customization, the customization is going to be on this interior. And I'll share, you, I'll share with you everything that I've done, or am doing, the products that I got, and I'm going to go through the install itself. So, if this is some type of content you guys like... Um, please drop me a comment. Drop a comment, uh, likes, subscriptions, you know, stuff like that helps bump the channel. I know we've been really slow. Uh, Work-wise, has been crazy for the last six months. Um, so things are starting to slow down a little bit. I think everybody notices that with the economy and you know what all is going on. So I can put out more content. So let's get right into this. Let's see what kind of products that we're going to put in here and see how it goes all right so out of all of this i am missing one package it is my dehumidifier that i'm missing um but as far as what i've got and the original plan that i have going on right now everything has showed up so first box is I found a relatively uh, simple uh, plug system. Comes with two uh, USB ports and then two regular plugs. Make sure I got this on camera. Um, should work out pretty good. Uh, I picked this one because of the way it had its junction here. Or whatever you would like to call this You're supposed to be able to just pull the wires out and feed them through the small hole that's in the back without a bunch of unnecessary ah there we go all the way up gotta push those tabs all the way up i didn't want to break them but anyways without having to cut and splice wires and you know a bunch of unnecessary or if it was improper um say 
putting the wires back together, whether it be soldering or tabs or wire nuts or something like that. But both sides do the same. So I picked that. We're going to see how that does. It looks like it's a pretty good system. Very simple. So I'll set that one to the side. Um, there's all sorts of options out there for safe lighting. Let me zoom this out a little bit. There we go. Uh, there is a ton of options out there for safe lighting. Uh, kit prices and stuff are all over the place. Uh, and, and it's really hard to tell. So I found this lighting from a company called Xbrite USA. Um, it is a company, I found it, I'm pretty sure I found these either on eBay or Amazon. Uh, try to search around, find a good deal. These were relatively inexpensive. Now, as far as like options for your safe lighting and stuff like that, you can have battery powered, you can have, you know, just simple electricity, plug and play and go. I wanted to do something on this build a little bit special as far as uh, having some type of bright lighting and motion detection because the safe itself is going to be in a dark, darker area. So we can go over more and check these guys out, but I did like the fact that these are a, let me unplug them here, relatively easy to unplug, you just twist and lock. They do come with extensions, but these are like a corner top light. So you have two options. You can peel and stick, or you can put screws in little tabs and screw these to hold these so i thought that was pretty cool um the ratings and stuff seem to be pretty good on these hoping that everybody's telling the truth whenever they're doing their ratings uh does come with extension cables you have two options uh one of them that i chose was motion detection so instead of having a switch that i could reach in there and touch i have a motion detector as soon as i open the door it lights up That'll be awesome. Um, kind of excited to see what that's like and how good the lighting quality of these are. Then the last piece of the puzzle, or well, besides the dehumidifier, is a company that I found called uh, Gun Pegboards. So, doing a little research on their website, looking at what they have to offer. Um, seemed like it was a really good idea. Um, kind of matched, matched the concept of what I was looking for and what I'm going to be storing in the safe. Now, I ordered, these are supposed to be pistol holders, or, well, mainly they're going to be used for pistol holders. I got a collection, a uh, pack of each, red, white, and blue. Uh, on their website describes these little guys right here. They're supposed to be, um, you know, just rubber pieces that you slide over this so it protects your guns. Uh, these are also supposed to be bendable, so you can bend them into action. We're going to go over a variety, try a couple different things as far as, you know, my placement of what I'm putting in there. Um, hardware. They provide you with the hardware for your sections. Uh... And they did have instructions on the website of if you're mounting, do this, do that, you know, stuff like that. Um, these are seem to be pretty good. For this safe, I think I chose the 12 by 16 inch uh, sections. I got six of them. A uh, couple different configures, configurations, variations. They have all different kinds of products on their website. To use for these now this is not just for say this is not specifically for safes or anything like that you can put this uh on your wall you know you can use it in your garage uh you got a war room gun room or whatever it is that you want to call it or even if it's just for tools and stuff so shows that they have different options as far as like the peg holes and then the little slide 
slide portions and stuff. So, <clears throat> pretty excited to get that, try that out. So, first things first, I've got everything out of the box. Uh, we have it all here except for the dehumidifier. So, I'm going to jump right into dismantling the interior of the safe. So, this is what your interior looks like now. There is no lighting. There's nothing. Basic corners. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is take all this stuff out and then do my pegboard backing. Now I've got everything out. Super easy to get all that stuff out. Everything kind of was like puzzle pieces. I know the main section board slid down in here. And then your pieces that went from here to here or this section, that section, or whatever, just kind of like brought everything together. Uh, no tools required to get all that stuff off. Um, these little guys, I believe they just pop right on, pop right off. Um, we'll mess with them. See? Pretty easy to take care of those. We won't be reusing these, not for this project. But let's go ahead, let's start laying it out and get our pegboard up and see how the first couple sections are going to look. So at a uh, normal thing for me, <laughs> our hardware is too big as far as the anchors, whatever that goes in here. Um, the, I guess, fireproof drywalling or whatever you want to call it is not uh, thick enough for all the long hardware. Now, I tested it just in case, so I'm going to have to wait till by time tomorrow to go get some proper hardware for this to anchor them in but for right now i'm going to work on doing my lights and my plug all right that one only took about a couple minutes uh unplugged it from its little connector piece uh got me some wood screws use that i don't really feel the need to use anchors um, because this is not going to be supporting any weight and that's pretty sturdy. That'll be at the bottom. Well, 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 would you look at that? All right, so I have made quite a bit of progress. Almost finished uh, for the night. But I will show you this real quick. I got my lights mounted. Put my block in, wired it up. Uh, all this mess, I'm working on cleaning this up. I just now got the rack done. But look at that. So, my lights, hopefully the LEDs don't do anything to the camera. So the lights, the light strips, I just mounted them. One on the bottom, one up top, two on each side, two uh, two on this side stuck them in just took some small wood screws and held them up there uh, Same type of wood screws that I used for that now all this mess. I'm gonna get it cleaned up but so I had a little bit of a struggle with the hardware that came with this the screws themselves Were too long the drywall anchors were too long So I pondered on it. I went and did the lights the electrical and stuff I was going to get up in the morning and go get some different hardware. And I was like, you know what? Let me try something. So I took what would be the first two of these guys on the end of this. And I just clipped it. So I made it shorter. So then once I found my holes or where my holes were going to be, went and went ahead and drip, drilled them out. Um, there's a specification or instruction sheet. So as you use a fourth inch drill bit, so I poked those out and I just took these, popped them right in, ran the screws in. They provided just enough spacing to where these guys are nice and tight. So yeah. Now this is motion detected. Uh, put my motion detector here for right now. Seems to work out pretty good. Um, I'll drop a clip that I took in the dark throw it in there you guys can check it out um there's not really an on off switch but there is an adjuster on here uh the time limit that you want it to be after it stops sensing motion it also has a daytime nighttime function um i don't know if that changes the brightness or not i've tried switching it 
nothing really happened. I don't know. But anyways, it's definitely going to be bright. I'm going to hop up here real quick and I'll show you uh, what it looks like in the dark. Alright, totally dark in the room. Opening the door. Bam. Look at that. That is awesome. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. Notable point to mention. These guys. The little barrel hangers that they got or the pistol hangers. They're supposed to go in like that and be up at an angle instead of straight out. What I failed to pay attention to was the direction of these. Oh. Oh, there we go. Motion lights. So the direction of these. Well. Oh, got it wrong. Yeah. So those can be tight. Put weight on them. They're tight. But this is actually supposed to be up and down. Um, I didn't see an option on the website for this. So I might shoot them an email and tell them, hey, you know, is there any way to get it like this? Maybe some changes. Um, but anyways, this will work. You know, I can take... And if I need to, I mean, these are bendable, so I can bend them up this way, make them angled up more. That way, there's not any problems. But, I still have the ability to use pegs, too. So, I mean, if these aren't going to work out, then I'll go get me some stuff for pegboard. So now i tried doing a little bit of a setup uh with the pegs and stuff that i had um but i'm not really satisfied with them because if you they all start shaking so i know that the panels are supposed to be the other way to try and elevate the firearm or whatever Whatever it is that you choose to hang on them. But I did go and get some some of these guys peg hangers. And I've modified them a little bit. Got the bend out of them. So I'm going to try those. And I actually found some that power tool holders. I'm going to try those and see how those work. I grabbed a couple of those. But seems a little more sturdy compared to you know, these guys i feel like this will be a little bit better plus i can manipulate these two i can still bend them there's a lot more material so what i'm going to do is is i'm going to try to get everything set up and do a uh, final part of version one so i kind of forgot that i got sidetracked on this project didn't video or finish this uh videoing series of what I got going on uh, kind of my final piece of the puzzle here as you can see um, <clears throat> I got the pegs that I was talking about that I got for uh, normal peg boards and everything I got those in start getting everything set up I actually need to go back and get some more of the power tool holders you can see how those hold the big bore revolvers rather well and I actually did have this come in my uh, dehumidifier so I'm gonna get that installed this is just a 100 day 12 inch so I'm gonna put that in and then we will end this video out something I am going to adjust uh, over time that I decided that I didn't like I guess as more things come in the sensitivity of this guy, the motion detector, I think I'm going to move it up and more outward. Um, it still works. It just doesn't always open, or it doesn't always come on as soon as the door opens. But anyways, I'm going to put this dehumidifier in, and then I will close this video out. It only took a couple minutes. Uh, screw that, screw the little plastic pieces on and get that to where it sets. I already got power to this, so I got it plugged up, and I went ahead and moved my sensor over a little bit more that way. So one last shot of everything. I've got, I kind of organized it out. I've got my 
uh, 22 and then nine millimeter stuff. Um, there's some 45 ACP and stuff on the end, five sevens. Then my revolvers. I think I'm going to change this later. I don't really know. Or, well, I want to. I want to make it more organized like that. But I want to see how much room it's going to take up. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your opinions on it. Uh, I had fun enjoying doing it. Uh, what would you do? Drop down in the comments. Uh, what would you do? Maybe some things to check out. Um, I kind of want to do another build. I want to do this on my bigger safe. Uh, I'd like to do, you know, different variations, try some different stuff out. I'm all about projects. And I can video it and show you guys and show you the real results that I would see. But anyways, I'm going to cut this off. Uh, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment, share this video. Uh, peace out, everybody.